Hello, footy tippers. Russell Barwick and Mark Dragasevic looking at AFL Round 7, thanks to Cenobet.com. And you know what? Last week I had a little bit of all of my tips. It was $5 going into the last game. Thank you very much. I know I only got eight of nine out of the tips, but I did happen to take both games in the Richmond-Geelong one. So a bit of value there with uh, (laughs) Cenobet.com if you want to have a little flutter on the footy this weekend. And what about the games? Top eight, so eight of the top nine teams playing each other. First up, Friday night, Geelong and Essendon. Great game for Friday night footy. Mm. Um, both teams statistically quite even, uh, except for Essendon's big improvement. It's been their defensive side of the game. And uh, we've got Rivers out this week Did for the Cats. They were exposed last week for half a game of footy against the Giants. They were, but I think they were just having a snooze and a bit of a rest. And then they woke up. And like I said, I think Taylor's uh, ability to go full and kick goals might be hindered this week without Rivers. And uh, the pressure of the midfield of Geelong is going to be the key to force their, uh, yeah, force the uh, forwards wide of the uh, Bombers. Geelong didn't look like it was a 50-point game against your mob last week. They just just pressure, pressure builds, and all of a sudden you look at the scoreboard and it's 40-odd points. And that's what they do. They just uh, wear teams down, and uh, it's their ability to play four full So corners. who wins? The Bombers, actually. Mm. I'm going to disagree with you. Saturday, Port take on Richmond at Amy Stadium. Interesting game. Port have given away a start the last two weeks. And last week, they didn't get North Melbourne. They'd be pretty filthy on their starts. Yeah, my mail is that they're real filthy on their starts. And they've been working on that. Port. Got the mail. And uh, (laughs) the Tigers have been starting really well. So expect a fiery contest uh, early on. They don't travel well. They're going to need four full quarters, which I think hopefully this week they can do. Well, the West Coast got a much-needed win by the best part of uh, 12 goals against Footscray, Western Bulldogs, last week. And Brisbane were beaten by 10 goals by the Swans. Yeah, a, a big Nick Nats back. That's the big exciting thing for the competition. I love watching him get over there and uh, win a tap, so they'll uh, have, have a win against Brisbane. OK, North Melbourne will be too good for the Western Bulldogs at Eddie Had. The big game on Saturday night, Hawthorne taking on Sydney. At the MCG, grand final replay. Come on, my swans. They love playing. It's going to be a great game, isn't it? Um, 70,000 plus. Who would have thought in his decorated career, Lance Franklin hasn't gone three games without kicking a goal in a row. He's got Teddy Richards waiting for him, the All-Australian defender. It's going to be another tough day at the office, but I actually think the Hawkies can just get over the line in under two goals. Well, if, if Buddy doesn't kick a goal, you know that they won't win. But uh, having played a career where I went three years without kicking a goal, <laughs> so I know how Buddy feels. Trust me on that one. Fremantle versus Collingwood at Patterson's. Uh, the Pies have just got to keep on turning up. It's going to be tough yeah. this time around. It is. Um, their top six players just uh, keep playing well, so that's a good sign for them. Um, they introduced a tagger last week. McCaffrey came in. so nice uh, And a couple of young rookies that played well. Yeah, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if they go with that again. Fife's going to hurt uh, Fremantle being out. OK, and Sunday's games look pretty uh, one-act affairs. Adelaide will beat GWS. Uh, Melbourne and Gold Coast is probably the interesting run, and Carlton should be too good for St Kilda. Let's go through Dragger's tips on screen. As you see them right now, likes a lot of the away teams. Essendon first up on Friday night. The Tigers to beat Port Adelaide. West Coast over Brisbane. North Melbourne Western Bulldogs. Hawthorne and Fremantle. The only two sides you think will win at home. And then on Sunday, all three away teams. Mark Dragasevich helping us each and every week. Eight out of nine last week, but I got eight out of nine. We, uh, we're trying we for perfection. We, we need a nine. nine. Cenovet.com for all the great odds. And if you get nine out of nine there, they'll offer you a special bonus as well. So head to the website and we'll see you for more footy tipping highlights next week in AFL Round 8.